presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, the new layers in Pro Presenter 7.5. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And if you're really excited about the fact that there is, in fact, more layers in Pro Presenter 7 to enable you to do more than you could do before, go ahead and click the like button below. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm really impressed with the speed at which Renewed Vision is rolling out new features for us. Some people may be concerned, but don't be concerned. New features are coming, and with every new feature update, there are also bug fixes, and there are more bug fixes that are uh, put into place after feature updates. They've got teams working on both at all times, so this is a perfect example of something that I didn't know I wanted, but now that we've got it, I am so excited. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7.5, and one thing that uh, you may not immediately notice. You know, you're probably going to notice the new show controls. If you haven't seen it already, I released a tutorial earlier. So uh, another thing is right here, you see that we've got props and messages. That's not new. They had separate clear buttons before, but the question you might be asking yourself is, what do I mean new layers? All the same buttons are here. Oh, well, there's a reason why I put quotation marks around the new right here. And that is because while it's not new, they separated out one layer into two, giving us additional flexibility. So if we head over into screens and edit looks, before messages and props, it was like messages slash props. It was one layer. Now they've split that off, so messages is a distinct layer from props. That gives us all kinds of flexibility because although right here I have both of them active on these, there's no reason why I couldn't have, um, let's say, props. Let's say I want an always-on bug of the church logo, just a little version in the lower corner right there if I wanted to I could put that on with a prop and I'd still be able to do numbers for uh, nursery for during church but only to the main out so I've got more flexibility than I did before so that is truly it's just amazing to me let me just take you on a quick history lesson. If you didn't see the tutorial where I over uh, did an overview of all this stuff, with Pro 4, they added props and messages. So that was one layer. With uh, Pro 5, they added, an, I'm, I'm pretty sure they added another layer. I'm blanking on which one. Uh, with Pro 7, I know that they added the announcement layer, and that was new. So with 7.5, we're ahead of schedule if you think that the all these updates are small updates, but they're not. I would say that adding a new layer and all the other stuff that they've added in the last year, it's like we are on ProPresenter 8. Only they're not calling it ProPresenter 8, they're calling it ProPresenter 7.5. I was talking to someone in the ProPresenter users group. You need to think of ProPresenter 7 like Mac OS X. For over a decade, they had versions of Mac OS X. When 10.1 came out, people were all upset that they were charging for an update. And they did used to charge for OS updates back with 10.1. 
people were upset because they said, oh, this is just a point update. It should be free. But it wasn't. It was a whole new version of the operating system that was a big deal. Think of every point release of ProPresenter 7 like that. It's a big deal. They're adding a lot of new features. With ProPresenter 6, they added two new features. In the last year, they've added, they've had five new releases, each with multiple new features. So that's truly exciting. So we've got that the two new layers one thing while i'm here let me also tell you that now you can drag these looks presets around so if there there are some that you use more often maybe you'll put those towards the top maybe you'll put the ones that are less used towards the bottom so you have much more flexibility of course as before you could right click and delete them you can right click and rename them see you can duplicate, rename, delete, etc. You can make it live. That's new in 7.5 if memory serves. So you just have all kinds of flexibility that you didn't have before. So that's all about the new look, uh, rather the new layer in ProPresenter 7.5. If you like this content, you would like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick and put in your name and email address and I'll make you a login for that and uh, send you some uh, exciting things as well through your email. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.